What is up, FIFA Carpenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, as you know how it goes, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, today we have a special card to review. And this man goes by the name of Carlos Alberto da Silva jr that is his full name and of course he is brazilian he's born in brazil specifically in santa luz he has played for different clubs notably atletico mineiro which is the club where he started he did 83 appearances it's a brazilian professional soccer club he later on played for santa clara 66 appearances santa clara which is a uh, liga noche professional soccer club and finally he is currently playing for al shabab and the saudi league this card looks very good honestly he's brazilian and when you when you have a player who is brazilian you know what that comes with it comes with flair speed dribbler a lot of ability to create some uh, some push-up play and some offensive attacks there and that is exactly what this card will do he's five foot eight work rates medium medium obviously not something that we love to see uh for somebody who's going to be forward directed but this guy is going to be a right mid he's going to play as a cam and potentially a forward uh directed uh cm looking at the skill moves his four star skills and his skills are silky they come off very nicely and four star weak foot i have to say that his left foot was a little bit wonky in the arena i definitely felt that he was a right uh, foot dominant player moving on to the player attributes they look really good and we start with the pace the pace splits fantastically it's 96 and of course 96 overall the shooting is good as well there are some parts that are a little questionable but he has 89 attack positioning 91 finishing you couple that with the 86 shot power and that is decent but looking at the long shot at 81 the volley 80 and the penalty at 82 that means that if you're going to play him as a cam and you're going to send those balls in the volleys are not necessarily going to bang but a bang in behind the goalkeeper there he might be able to stop them the passing on this card is good he has 89 vision 92 crossing which which really lets you know that he should play on those wings 86 curve 93 uh, short pass and only 86 long pass again if he's going to play as your cam that 81 long pass might be a little bit felt but to be fair in this fifa game as long as you aim the pass properly and you're not just passing you know very fast and the the, the player has to pivot on himself to do the pass you should be a-okay where this card really shines looking at the player attributes is the dribbling he has 94 overall dribbling and everything is in the 95 plus mostly for those so 98 agility 95 balance 89 reaction 93 ball control and 96 dribbling that is very good the composure at 80, 82 is something that you have to note he is also average body type if this guy was lean this would be sensational you always look at the base cards to really determine if the card is meta or not this guy does not have meta movement built in his source code it's not that's not the case so he's not like a super super silky dribbler of course the average body type comes into play the fact that he's been very boosted in the dribbling here does help a lot and does mean that he is going to be very good uh, at dribbling in the game but he's not going to be your 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 your, your fikia he's not going to be your neymar he's not going to have that type of ai built into him when it comes to dribbling the defending is non-existent 87 overall uh, not 55 overall 87 heading accuracy you combine it with the 97 jumping and that's a recipe for headers we love that um 92 stamina 90 strength 44 aggression lots of strength on a player like this that is very very interesting to see looking at the player traits he has leadership speed dribbler like i was saying earlier that is a show of a true brazilian player moving on to the panel it only requires one panel boys it's a four triple two and you need a Brazilian player you need an 84 team overall 65 chemistry a bunch of midfielders a few fours and you should be able to complete this I think that this card in all honesty is a W even though it might not be a big W because of the average body type and the fact that this guy doesn't have the craziest of shooting but I would see this guy on the wing dedicate him to the wing he's medium medium so he's not going to play as a right forward he's going to play as a right mid so make sure he plays as a right mid. Make sure you can also play him as a cam. Be careful with the long passing there though and the shooting. You can play him as a CM and I think he's going to do uh, there a very, very good job. Uh, 
predominantly as a right mid and the CM, those are the two positions where I really, really, really see this card playing decently. Uh, but I think it's a small W. This was your FIFA commenter giving you a review on Carlos Jr. And just letting you know that if you have a Brazilian side, go ahead and complete him. If you're going to do a Saudi side, that's also interesting because you could link him with some Brazilian players and then continue off with the Saudi side because of the fact that he is playing in the Saudi side. Boys, drop a like, subscribe, let me know if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you very soon for another play review. Peace out!